start off with placing several cardboard boxes on top of one another and get a paper towel, mineral spirits or spike oil, as well as linseed oil. You'll also need a wax palette and palette cups. Using a pin, set up a background with tablecloth or a pillowcase. So your underpainting starts with a very loose and washy mass of green and the light and the shadow, as well as the background gray and white. And then you just continually add layers and layers of paint. Constantly think about the structure of the limes as you're painting them. So you really want to avoid making them look like egg shapes, too smooth or too round. If I'm finding that they're becoming too smooth, then I'm going to go back in with more structural thinking and planar thinking and placing down my brush strokes, thinking of the planes. In other words, some of your brush strokes should actually move along with the planes. Don't forget that when you're working into your halftone area, it tends to be a little bit more chromatic, so if you look closely, I'll have like a more saturated viridian green in that area. I'm using a lot of cadmium yellow, ultramarine blue, a little bit of viridian, as well as cobalt blue to paint the limes. I'll also use a little bit of a lemon yellow when I feel like the, the green yellow could get a little bit cooler. Okay, so now it's your turn. Set up your canvas to the left of your limes and prop everything up so that they are eye level, just like this example. 